these fees. This is not cheap anymore. Not that it was cheap in the first place. All right. Now, your applications to adjust. Yeah? Okay. So, Nicola says Pauline has a question. Let me see Pauline question. My son, Pauline is saying, my son will be in the U.S. for five years come August 1 this year. Can he file for citizenship before that date? You could file for citizenship three months. And I say three months, don't do six months. I say three months because it's the, the dates are no longer taking long, depending on your jurisdiction. And some people have been called within that three, four months. So... I would say the maximum time prior to filing before that fifth year anniversary, three months. Don't do it earlier than three months before the five years. All right. Let us look at, and anyone filing for citizenship, you have to be 18. 18 and older to apply for citizenship. Now let's look at the big one, because this is common to everybody applying for the green card, right? So we're trying to see what's the cost. And this is just the, the fee for that form, right? So for your application to register permanent residence, this has moved from 1,225 to 1,445. And this is just for this form. If the child is under 14, it moved from 750 to 950. So for the adults, it increased by 215. For the children, it increased by 200. All right. For people who are looking to extend or change their status, they want to know the fees. This is now, it has moved from 370 to $420. Yeah, so it went up by $50. Not, not that bad, right? And that's if you're filing online. If you're doing a paper filing, right? You know, paper you can't touch. It's now $470. So it increased to $100, right? Now, let me see. I think I see that Max has a question. Let me see if I can see Max's question. Will these fees affect a child when the parents are waiting for approval from USCIS on the VAWA? All right. So earlier I had stated that with the domestic violence, they are saying that the fees for the VAWA applicants are going to be waived. It did not speak, unless that child is filing directly as a victim of domestic violence, that child will, their fees will be waived because they are a VAWA applicant. If it is that they are a derivative, I, I anticipate by April 1st, we'll get further clarification whether the derivatives are also included in that, but definitely the main applicant doesn't pay a dime. All right, so let's take a look at... For someone who is seeking to petition to classify or an orphan as an immediate relative, that fee went up from 775 to 920, right? So it increased by 145. And I'll tell you this, the fees that I'm telling you, some of the fees that were initially requested, are USCI has requested higher fees for some of these fees. Okay. All right. So let us continue. So this morning, we are focusing on a fee increase, which USCIS is looking to, and, and it has, it's going to take place on April 1st. Initially, within the last seven years, they did try to get a fee increase and it was shut down. But we have to be realistic. Everything now has gone up. This is, this is this is just inflation right now, you know? You can't expect the food gone up, the utilities gone up. Rent, don't forget it. Rents in New York are, are astronomical. 
that the housing market, I sincerely believe, is overpriced. The rents are overpriced. Everywhere you are looking, you are seeing buildings going up. The question is, are, are there going to be any affordable housing for New York State people? Who knows? But then nationwide and worldwide, everything has increased. How could we not expect USCIS to increase their fees? We have to be practical, yeah? And it's just the order of the data fees definitely were going to go up. All right, so let's look at the waiver. When you go and let's say you go to the interview and the officer catch you, say that you lie, and he needs a waiver for misrepresentation, your immigration history has a lot of... Um, non-truths yeah so you need a waiver you may need a, a waiver for your criminal record uh you you may be inadmissible and you need a waiver for health related grounds there may be different reasons you need a waiver that fee is moving from 930 to 1050 so it went up by 120. everything is going up yeah now, there, there's another type of waiver which was expanded by the Obama administration, which is an unlawful presence waiver. For those of you who are not able to provide proof of your entry, that is, you cannot show that you were admitted or you were paroled into the United States, you are required to interview outside the United States, right? Because you're not admitted or parole, so you can't adjust. It's a requirement to adjust. So you need what is called a provisional waiver. That waiver has moved from $630 to $795. So this is an increase of $165, yeah? It gone up. What can I tell you? All right. So let's take a look at some of the other fees. Morning, Amaraldo. All right. So let's look at the petition to remove conditions. So this is where you're looking to move from the two-year card to the 10-year card. Our focus this morning is on the increase in fees, which are taking place on April 1st. 2024, I am going to encourage anyone who has an application to submit, do this before April 1st. These fees with regards to some of your applications are astronomical. Yeah? Morning, sunshine. Now, the petition to remove the condition for those of you who you're doing your family base. You're moving from the two-year to the 10-year because you got the green card through marriage because of the whole marriage fraud act. They want to ensure you're not using the person for the green card. There was a whole long line of petition of citizens going to Congress complaining that people are just marrying them for the card. And once they got the card, they were gone. So as one officer said, I'm going to keep your client married to this person for some time. Yeah. What that means? She now approved the case right away to the pen and pen and mm hmm So, for those of you who get the two-year card, you go in and, you know, you got favor. So, the two-year card came, right? Because the decision was made. And for, for those of you who, where it, it takes a little while for you to get the green card, don't stress yourself because it is, the processing is taking so long on that marriage base. When the card actually comes, you get a 10-year card. So for those of you who got the two-year card and whether you got it uh, based on a spouse or as an investor, okay. So to remove the condition, now it's $750. That has moved from $680 to $750, right? They initially wanted 
$1,195. All right. The work permits. If you're filing your work permit online, it is $470. So for the person who asks about the DACA, you're paying for the work permit. It is no longer 410 if you file online. It is actually 470. And if you do the paper filing, it's $520. So these applications, yeah, it 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 it's not cheap. And that's why don't these these applications that has no merit, yeah. Be very careful. Not 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 only are you wasting monies, but the negative history that you create on your immigration filing. It makes no sense. You're creating a negative. You yourself are creating a negative connotation on your own record. Yeah. All right. So the work permit has moved from basically. As most people do the paper filing, let's get real. Now everybody want to go up online and, you know, I, I'll never forget one of my colleagues asked me to assist her by just covering a case for her. And the application was in fact filed online. And there was an error in the application that was filed because i think he had filed it himself then he came to her and he realized he needed representation at the interview and when we went to the interview the officer was just on but this is a misrepresentation this is a, but he's physically in the office correcting the record yeah be very careful how you do your online applications because one simple error can lead to a disaster. Me, me personally like paper. But no, it's just that for the paper filings, it's costing an extra 